Hey guys, it's Corbin here for Acoustic World, and I wanted to talk to you about fretboard oil, uh, specifically with rosewood fretboards, um, but also just fretboard oil in general, uh, and common mistakes I see people making with it, um, and also that I made with it. So uh, the first mistake I see is people applying way too much fretboard oil, okay? Uh, if you are going to use it, you only really need a little bit. Uh, you should just put some on a cloth or directly on the fretboard. Uh, wipe it, you know, spread it evenly across the fretboard, and then wipe it off. So don't put a ton on. Uh, don't let it soak in for hours on end. Uh, you just the idea is to rehydrate the fretboard, so you only really need a little bit. Uh, the fretboard will soak it right up, and then wipe it off and put your strings back on. Okay. Um, the second thing I'm going to recommend, and the other big problem that I see, is people applying it uh, too often. And I was doing this for a long time. I had a Les Paul uh, with a rosewood fretboard, and I would uh, put fretboard oil on every time I changed my strings. And uh, the fact of the matter is that's way too often. Um, and you have to understand too, like these companies that make uh, lemon oil or fretboard oil, they have an incentive to tell you that because you'll use more of it and then end up buying more bottles of fretboard oil. Um, but this should last you like multiple years because uh, you really only need to apply fretboard oil once or twice a year uh, maximum three times like absolute max um, and again the reason is because your fretboard uh, the reason you're applying this is to rehydrate the fretboard you know because the salt of your sweat while you're playing soaks into the fretboard and dehydrates it so this is to help rehydrate it um, but your fretboard shouldn't be drying out every time you uh, have to change your strings, unless you change your strings once a year, in which case uh, you should probably change them more often. But uh, that's the other thing I see is people applying this stuff way too often. Um, you really only need to do it every time you change, every time, uh, don't do it every time you change your strings. Do it once or twice a year. Do like a deep cleaning where you apply oil to the fretboard and just reserve it for that occasion, okay? And so this will save you a ton of time, a ton of money, and that is the way to get the most out of your fretboard oil, guys. So if that helped you out, uh, give me a like and subscribe. And I have a ton of articles I wrote about fretboard oil, like how to apply it, how often you should use it, um, the best kinds, all of that uh, I'll have in the description for you as well. So uh, stay tuned for more videos just like this every week and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thanks guys.